hey guys welcome to protocol desk point okay so in this further tutorial we gonna talk about what is flutter getx and how can we use it in our app so what is flutter getx a uh, flutter getx uh, library is a very lightweight uh, plugin and a powerful package that helps the flutter developer to build app much faster okay so now let's have a look at the features of flutter getx okay so the features of flutter getx are uh, this is state management uh, root management dependency management validation and much more uh, we will talk about this all the features of flutter getx in upcoming videos okay so in this video uh, we will just uh, overview about the basic features of flutter getx library okay so basic features in the sense uh, of showing a message on the screen showing alert dialog or you can change the page from you can make the user to go from one page to another page these are the basic features okay so first of all uh, here is the code of getx by which uh, by making use of which we can show a sneaky bar on the screen uh, that is a message pop up okay uh, so that we can make use of this code for example that is this is the getx syntax to snow a sneaky bar uh, get dot sneaky bar this is title and this is message as you can see over here and this is the dialog box that you can show by making use of getx as you can see get dot default dialog this is title and this is the text you want to show over in the uh, title box okay uh, so if you want to move navigate a user from one page to second page you can do it by using getx by just this simple uh, one line of code that is get dot two and the page you want to show and then uh, we will uh, add a increment operator uh, just we will uh, increment a variable by one on button press okay so let's go into android studio to implement this getx properties okay so now we are in android studio okay uh, uh, so the, i have created a project dummy project that is by name flutter getx demo okay so first of all you need to add a dependency of getx so go to pub.specification.yaml file over here under dependency add this uh, get dependency uh, after adding this just hit this uh, pub get button okay i have done this already okay uh, so for the this is the this is the step of installing the getx getx in your uh, flutter project okay so if you have any problem in adding this dependency uh, here i have wrote an article on introduction with flutter getx library uh, how to install it what is the getx for uh, everything is there over here so as you can see installation step is there code is there everything is there you can visit this website to learn about more okay so now we are back in our android studio okay uh, so first of all after adding this dependency uh, open this main active main dot dart file here first of all you what you need to do is uh, as you can see uh, this will uh, this will return a, a material app so you just need to uh, first of all you need to import this get dot dart package that comes from this dependency uh, dart package after uh, importing this dart package you can make use of uh, dart uh, package properties okay so just wrap this into get material app okay after adding this you can make use of uh, get properties inside your app anywhere in your app okay so this is the root of an app uh, so all the contents uh, all the widgets all the classes inside this app can access this uh, get prop get uh, get x properties okay uh, so let's begin building this app so as you can see in home tag i have called my home page uh, my home page is a stateful widget okay uh, and this returns a scaffold it has a body tag with a container over there okay 
so let's code from here Uh, so first of all uh, we will uh, in body tag we will make use of column widget center child uh, column widget in column widget we will set main axis alignment to center so that all the widgets in it will come to center in child tag uh, what we will do is we will create simple buttons to show a uh, sneaky bar uh, dialog box and everything flat button on press okay and child will be we will give a text to a button So sneaky bar okay over here on press uh, on when the button is been pressed we will show a sneaky bar okay for that get dot sneaky bar it accept two kinds of parameters that is title and message your uh, title we will give high and message we can give as welcome to protocoders point this is very simple simple and very fast to show a sneaky bar using getx properties okay so i will just run this app now Uh, so as you can see uh, there is a button that is when it is pressed uh, the sneaky bar has been activated so I need to give a uh, cover to this button okay so as you can see this is a button and here you can see that a sneaky bar has been popped up uh, so here in the console you can see open sneaky bar activity has been popped closed once more time see opened and then closed okay now likewise we will build we will show a, uh, our dialog box for that just copy this button code and just paste it over here we will give some space between buttons the size box we will give height of 20 pixels uh, so that uh, there is a uh, space between this first button and second button on second button is pressed we will show a dialog box for that uh, default dialog here is you can see here there are many types of uh, activities that you can build first of all it accept title uh, that is title will be is of type text Okay, I will rerun this app now. Uh, so I need to show. Okay, so as you can see, so as you can see, uh, there is a dialog box that has been popped up. So by using getx, it is very simple to show even a dialog box. Uh, so now we will create one more page and we will give a name as page 2 to this file and here we need to import material 
and here we will create a stateless widget stateless widget name will be page 2 uh, here it will return scaffold okay so in scaffold under body tag uh, we will wrap this into one center widget okay in center widget uh, we will just show a uh, text over there okay so uh, from main dot dart file when a button is been pressed we need to navigate from main dot dart to uh, page 2 for that we will create one more button uh, that can help you to navigate uh, we will give space between the boxes it will be same as 20 dp and one one more button in one more button when button is been pressed uh, we will take it to page 2 go to page 2 when it is been pressed here get dot 2 2 with page page 2 for that first of all you need to import the second page over here import page 2 okay so now you can use this page 2 okay so I'm rerunning this app now so here is the button go to page 2 so now we are in page 2 okay okay uh, so then we will add one more feature of a uh, getx uh, package uh, that is state state management uh, for that first of all here create one more variable for variable we will name it as counter uh, we will set the initial value to zero and we will make this uh, variable as observer uh, this means that uh, whenever any data is being changed in this variable it will be it will get updated in a ui okay uh, then here uh, here uh, create one more button uh, format button so that we can increment this variable by one okay so here increment increment by one and here uh, we will increment this variable by one okay so to make the display of this app we need to make use of uh, text uh, text widget for that first of all we need to wrap the text widget into obx for that obx builder here uh, wrap this into a text widget here ok so I will rerun this app now so as you can see the app has been restarted as you can see on button when, when the button is been pressed the counter value get incremented uh, this is the feature that is named as uh, state management okay okay so now we will see one more example of state management uh, for that I will just remove all this code now so that it will be not be very difficult for understanding okay so I have removed all this code in body tag uh, for time being I will pass just a container okay and then uh, we, I will create one floating action button 
voting action button uh, child in child i will show an icon icon will be add okay and voting action button on press what should happen okay and then in uh, body tag here i will wrap this into center widget uh, here i will give one simple text over here uh, text will be counter c o u n t e r counter is uh, here the value will be shown okay uh, first of all we need for state management example create one more uh, dart file and name it as counter um, instance okay, i n s p a n c seven mistake i have done over here okay instance uh, here uh, first uh, you need to import uh, get x dot file and here create one more class that is counter instance uh, this class will extend get x controller uh, this getx controller comes from uh, this dart package okay so here i will create one variable count is equal to 0 0 dot observer okay and here only i will create one more function that is increment operator increment function in this function i will increment count by one okay so now let's go into main dot dart file here in text widget uh, no uh, first of all we need to create the instance of this uh, class for that uh, here we create an instance that is final counter instance we will name we will create an object of it as ci okay uh, let it be counter instance is equal to get dot put counter instance okay so now we have created an instance of this class okay just import this class okay then you can we can use this instance to fetch this uh, variable for that uh, we can do is Uh, counter instance instance dot count now this is the instance object and this is the variable okay so i will run this app now just for test so as you can see uh, the value is zero i will just add here Uh, counter instance dot increment okay uh, so whenever I press this uh, increment button it will get incremented just a second it is not getting incremented why okay okay so I need to wrap this into observer
Okay, so I will re restart this app now. So as you can see, it is get it got incremented by three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Uh, so this variable will be fixed until this app get exited. Okay. For that, uh, for this uh, state management uh, demo, I will create. I will show this same variable getting printed on the second page also okay uh, for that uh, first of all we will create one more button over here uh, we'll create one more button to go to second page Okay, from here I will go to second page by making use of getx uh, go to property. The top uh, here column widget main access alignment main access alignment center okay so we will give button cover to a text to the button sorry okay so by pressing this button we can go to page number two in this page in this page two uh, we will show the value of this uh, instance okay for that uh, for that you need to create here first of all you need to create that is uh, counter instance is equal to get x dot find Import this getx dot dot package. Okay, so in this, in place of this text, I will show uh, the text that has been updated over here. Counter instance dot count. Okay, so I have run rerun this app now. We will give some size to this text. Okay, so app has been rerunning now, restarted now. Uh, so the counter value is 7, it's 8 now, 10. Okay, so I will go to second page, the state management will work. So as you can see, I am in second page now. The value is still the same. Means I have pressed the increment button for 10 times. So the value is 10. So as you can see over here, the value is still 17 now. Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. Uh, soon I will be creating an in-depth video uh, regarding to getx uh, packages so please do subscribe protocol as point